Hey guys, my name is Sammy Gonzalez, and today I'll be talking about tendonitis treatment and prevention. I'm a classical guitar player, and about a year ago I developed tendonitis due to an improper change in my technique. So I used to play with a curved wrist, and I wanted to play with a straight wrist so I can get rid of the tension in my ring finger to develop more speed. But the thing is, I when I did it, I did it incorrectly. So I started getting this tingling sensation right here in my arm, and I never felt it before, so I didn't think anything of it. And then on day two, the tingling sensation started developing to more of a, uh, it felt like electricity going through my arms and sort of like it was on fire. And then I just kept pushing through it. And then on the day three, I woke up and my arm was on fire. It felt like electricity was going through my arm. And then I knew something was wrong and I did something wrong. So after that, I went onto websites and I went onto YouTube and I had to check all these different videos just to figure out what to do. And I was able to cure it with a bunch of different remedies and after going back to college and seeing a bunch of other musicians having the same problem I realized that it's an issue that's not really talked about no one really tells you about it and I developed a creative video to show everyone what to do just in one stop so the first thing you want to do is you need to stop playing if you're a musician you have to stop for a few weeks you need to stop opening doors with the arm to not typing with a computer to mouse clicking to anything small to using a cell phone and using your thumb if you have a Blackberry. So that stuff will further irritate and inflammate your arm. The next thing you want to do is you want to go get an arm brace. Get it from CVS or Walgreens. And what it does is when you do open the door or a car door or something simple like that or carry a bag, it'll make you do it correctly. It'll make you use the right muscles in your arms so you're not further aggravating the area. That's And then the next thing you want to do is you want to ice three times a day. So you wake up in the morning, you ice, you get uh, either an ice bag or you can get, what I did was a uh, bag of vegetables. You just put your arm on it and you move it around and make sure you don't stay in one area too long because you, you don't want to get frostbite. So you do that about two, three times a day. And the next thing you want to do is you want to get a leaf. Uh, ibuprofen is very important and what it will do is it will settle the inflammation because that's the problem. Your tendons are inflammated right now. So with a leaf, you take it about every five to six hours. And for people with sensitive stomachs, what you want to do is get the one that's coated. I think there's different kinds. If not a leaf, there's something else. So it dissolves when it leaves your stomach and it doesn't hurt you. And the last thing you want to do is when you go to sleep, you don't want to sleep on your arm. You don't want your arm to be more aggravated. So what you do is you put your arm up on a pillow and it stays up there and that would help the healing process also. So the most important thing to do is to stretch. Stretching is great for strengthening the muscles and the tendons and loosening them. And not only will it cure the tendonitis, it's also going to prevent it from ever coming back again. So I stretch every day, no matter what, whether my arm's feeling amazing or whether it's feeling bad. So the first stretch we do is we lift our palms up. And now everyone's different, so just put it up a little bit if you want to. If you can go farther back, then go farther back. So you hold this for about 10 seconds, and you shouldn't feel any pain. It should just be a relaxed thing, and then you shake it off. And after that, you want to do a counter stretch. You're going to pull your hand this way with the other hand. And not too much pressure, just a little bit. And the more you do this, the more you're going to be able to pull back. And then you shake it off up to 10 seconds. And then you repeat on the other hand. And you do this process three times. And you do it in the morning, you do it in the afternoon, and you do it at night. So you do it three times a day, and you do it three times. And the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to rotate our hand. And you're going to rotate it 10 times in one direction. And then when you do it 10 times, you're going to rotate it the other way. And you shake it off, and then you do it with the other arm. And the same thing, you do it three times in a row. And the last thing we're going to do is, this one's a little rough, so be careful with it at first. You're going to put your hands up against the wall just like this and your palms will be flat against it. If you want to release a little bit and not put it too flat, that's fine too, depending on how bad your situation is. This is a great stretch. You're going to feel it all in this area over here. So you want to keep that up. And it's the same thing. You hold it for about 10 seconds and then you release. So the last thing we're going to talk about is massage therapy. I was getting pains in my arms, so I went to a massage therapist who was a musician. And he taught me different tricks of taking care of that and getting rid of the stress. So I would feel pains in different spots. And what he taught me was, you don't just go and rub that spot. It's not going to do anything for you. That it's actually coming from the other side. So if you have a pain here, 
it was actually coming from this side and to loosen that area so he got a metal block that was thin and he massaged the area. I'm going to show you in a second. And another thing to understand is how your anatomy works, how your body works. So I move my fingers and I see this muscle moving and I see this muscle moving. This is a main area where everything connects. So your everything goes up through the arm up to here and you can see it move right here. So the idea is to loosen everything and to get up to here. And if you do that, you're going to feel a kind of sunburn sensation the next day. And that's a good thing. That means you did it right. So what I did was I got a knife and I have the dull side of it. And what I do is I just massage it. And you start here at the beginning of your arm. And if you have tension here, you're going to feel that there are pains here. You're going to want to work this for a while. And you're going to feel this sort of grit, these kind of feel here. And when it goes away, you move up. And if this area is smooth and there's nothing wrong with it, then cool, you move up. If you feel a little something here, then you stay here for a while and you work it. And the goal is to get all the way up to here. And you're really going to feel it here if you've never done this before. You know, so get all of that, squeeze the area, you're going to feel this too, you're going to, you know. And this loosens everything. And I had a five day recording project of a classical guitar. and. I used to get pains in different areas and any time I felt a little bit something I would automatically do this and I had no issues with recording and didn't have to stop I was playing about eight hours or five days straight and there was nothing wrong with it and it worked great. So once the tendonitis goes away and we're nice and healed and it's been a few weeks we want to work out the area. Don't do this when you have tendonitis. It can be really bad for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a three to five pound weight. We're going to get it and you're going to hold it and you're slowly going to lift your hand up and down. And you're going to work out this area. You can do it about eight times. We really light weight. And you shake it off. You can do the same thing with your left hand. Do that three times. As you get stronger, you can go into a 10 pound weight eventually. Now, the second exercise you want to do is you want to get a barbell, very light one, 10 pounds, 15 pounds. Put your hands close together. And you put your elbows right here, very close together and you just work it up and down like that, very slowly. And what this does is it works out this area right here and it strengthens the area. Once again, my name is Sammy Gonzalez. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or anything to contribute to this video, please let me know and leave a comment. I hope if you have tendonitis that it heals and everything is great. Have a good day. Thank you very much.